Hello guys and welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about some passive skill tree masteries more specifically the staff mastery on the passive tree and to be honest with you I was kind of surprised when the patch notes for 3.21 released this was a huge list of all the reworks and changes that they've done to the passive skill tree masteries and I looked through that list and the staff mastery was nowhere to be seen even though I think looking back even before the Crucible League, the Staff Mastery has always been one of the weakest or if not the weakest mastery on the whole of the passive tree. And even though the masteries themselves on the Staff Mastery are very weak, I think some of this is actually a deeper rooted problem to do with staves in general, which we'll get into a little bit later on. But first, let's actually take a look at these masteries and talk about them a little bit. I do want to say that I do think that there are some masteries in this list here that are useful. There definitely are some good masteries, but the generalization of staff masteries are very weak and they're rarely ever going to be worth the investment of even a single passive point. So let's go through the list. We're beginning off here with the recover on block mastery. And this one recovers 2% of life when you block attacks and 2% of energy shield when you block spell damage while wielding a staff. Now, this one is definitely one of the more useful ones. Um, I think that overall the use case for this one is still fairly low and you can have some life builds that are going to go into attack block even by capping normally or by getting glancing blows and those can make good use of this especially while mapping it's going to be quite strong. But I would prefer if this mastery in particular was a bit more generalized I'd like to see something even if it's a little bit less recovery something like recover 1% of life energy shield and mana when you block while wielding a staff. That's just a very generic thing where you gain life, mana, and energy shield when you block. It doesn't matter if you block an attack or a spell. I don't really like the idea of making this specific to which type you're blocking and which resource you're recovering. I would prefer if it was low recovery but more generalized. And next up, the other really useful mastery, 30% increased defenses while wielding a staff. This one is actually really good. This is probably the best mastery on this whole list. And this is going to be good even if you're scaling one defensive stat. Let's say you're just using armor and you basically don't really use evasion or energy shield. This is still 30% increased armor for a single point. I think most builds that actually use this will be using multiple defenses. They'll probably be scaling armor and energy shield or maybe even armor and evasion. And you're going to gain 30% increased stats for any defense that you're scaling, which is really, really nice. So that is actually a really good mastery and it's great value for a single point. But... This is where it starts going downhill because we're going to go into the next masteries and this one here plus eight percent chance to block attack damage if you've stunned an enemy recently and i think this could be somewhat useful in a few builds to cap attack block while you're mapping and i think some hit base builds will probably be able to quite reliably stun and white mobs in maps but in general i don't think this is a great mastery even for a single point it's kind of bad and the use case is fairly limited. I'm really not sure why this isn't just flat attack block while you're wielding a staff. I don't know why there needs to be a prerequisite of stunning an enemy. Attack block just for holding a staff would at least be useful for pretty much any build that wants to use a staff. And capping attack block on a staff without glancing blows or bone offering or the gladiator ascendancy is actually pretty rough right now. And I'd, I'd just like to see this be generic block. I think that would be a lot better. And next up, we got the 20% chance to double stun duration. Well, this is really only going to be useful in a bone shatter build. There's a few like meme builds that would use this to increase stun duration, but mostly it's going to be bone shatter. And I can't ever see this being worth the trade off of using a staff over a two handed axe. If you look at POE Ninja, the stats there show that only 3% of all of the players in softcore trade at Crucible that are playing bone shatter are using a staff. And that's hardly surprising. This is not a very useful mastery at all. And we've got the gain unholy might on block for three seconds. And I think this mastery kind of feels like it's on the wrong side of the passive skill tree. There are an extremely limited few builds that will actually be able to benefit from this mastery. And of all of the players that are using a staff on softcore trade crucible, a mere 0.1% of them are picking up this mastery. And I think that's not really very surprising because the use case for this is so, so limited. And I mean, there's going to be some fringe builds that can make use of this. But I think once again, there is the problem there where the prerequisite is that you need to have blocked in the last three seconds to gain this. And 
Well, you probably don't need extra damage while mapping, which is where you're going to be blocking most of the time. And if you need to block boss attacks just to gain this bit of extra damage, it's really not very worthwhile. So that mastery is quite lackluster. And lastly, we've got the plus 60% to critical strike multiplier. If you haven't dealt a critical strike recently, and this one is just purely limited to use case with totems, traps and mines. Anything where you'd be dealing the damage yourself. Well, if you're in a crit build and you gain 60% crit multi for a single hit every 4 seconds, that's a terrible 1 point spent on the passive tree. And I think if this was crit chance instead, it would have some use case with elemental overload. And overall, I think these masteries are quite lacklustre, to be honest with you. This is probably the worst mastery on the tree, the staff mastery. And I think part of the problem of this mastery is not just the masteries themselves being weak, but it's also the staff. The problem may be a bit deeper rooted with the staff because this is kind of meant to be a weapon that is somewhere of a middle ground between the defense offered by a shield and the offense of a two-handed weapon. But the staff has fallen behind defensively quite a bit with things like spell suppression being added into the game. And all of these things you've got to factor in with the opportunity cost of using a staff over something else. And there's some problems with identity, I think, of the staff weapon. that For the most part, most other weapons don't really suffer from. You have the staff clusters on the tree that are trying to kind of appeal to both attack and spell builds at the same time. You see that with several staff wheels that offer global critical strike chance and global crit multi and even generic block just while wielding a staff. Obviously you could use those with either an attack or a spell build. And I wonder if the staff would benefit from having the mastery split between attack and spell build. So for the obvious attack clusters such as the steelwood stance wheel you could have a war staff mastery that's focused on staff builds that use attacks. And then you could have the other ones that are focused and maybe even reworked into more caster friendly clusters and you could have that be the reworked staff mastery. But regardless, I really do think that the staff mastery needs some serious love and I'm hopeful that it will get that attention in 3.22. I hope we'll get the rest of the passive tree mastery overhaul for the masteries that were missed out in 3.21. But what do you guys think of this mastery? And what would you like to see happening with staves in the future of Path of Exile? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, stay tuned and stay safe.